I'm going to end with a little anecdote, uh, a story of, uh, that, that is, is horrifying and more frightening than almost anything else in my life. Uh, in the early days when I was trying to teach myself virology, I called several of my friends uh, who are expert in virology. One of them, I asked him if he could help me review some of this literature, this anti, the, the, the literature that suggested that there was a lab leak. And he said, no, uh, I'm sorry, Rich, I, I, can't, I can't do that. Well, okay, is there someone in your lab who could do it? No, nobody in my lab will do it. Uh, well, why not? Well, let me be candid. If anybody in my laboratory is discovered to be working on a laboratory leak hypothesis, China will label us enemies of China, and the laboratory will be blacklisted, and we will no longer be able to collaborate. We collaborate all the time with China. Uh, nobody will, will, will take that risk. This, 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 chilling, this is one of the most chilling conversations I've had in my life. Uh, the idea that China has managed to, 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 to interfere, to break um, the United States' freedom of expression, freedom of investigation, freedom of thought, uh, by, by, <laughs> through this collaboration effort, really scary. So and, and let, me, let me just, just say that um, uh, some people say we will never know, not until China confesses. Uh, or unless there's a whistleblower. Well, we have a whistleblower. It was the virus itself. It came here, it came out of China, it came to us, and it carried with us genetic information. With And, and there, there are, in my mind, five compelling sets of scientific uh, evidence that allow us to reach this very strong conclusion that, yes, it was a laboratory leak. Thank you very much. Well, thank you.